All right. Here it is, folks. My 2017 Beta 300 RR. I already went for a short little ride, so uh, I did get a chance to ride it a little bit. So first and foremost, I want to give out a shout out to uh, Barnstormers Off Road up in New York State. You know, I've been talking to those dudes for it's funny over a year and a half. Um, before I got my KTM, I was interested in the Betas, as I've mentioned a couple times before. And uh, I'd reached out to them because they had a bike for sale. Shoot, I think it was on like Craigslist. And, uh, and it was um, uh, Gary's cousin, uh, Charles, which is down here in North Carolina. And he had uh, listed it. And it was... Uh, I, I, oh, at the end of the day, I didn't end up getting a beta. I ended up getting the KTM because as many of you know, I traded my FZ09 for it. And then, obviously, the KTM didn't quite work out. 500 uh, four-stroke. A lot of bike. Uh, tall. Felt somewhat heavier on the trails. Um, par partially, maybe, my lack of experience. But um, it was definitely tall for an inexperienced person. And as many as you know, the 500 is probably not as good for tight technical trail riding, which is what I like to do. So, I started really looking around at uh, the betas again which led me to the 300 two stroke now charles if you guys have seen some of my previous vids riding um uh the beta 2018 beta 350 rr in the 2015 yamaha yz 250 fx so that was charles that i was riding with uh him and uh, his cousin gary have the uh born stormers off-road owners operators and they they're great dudes, so whenever they told me, as I started looking for a bike again, I reached out to them. They told me that uh, this was Gary's personal bike that he had ridden, purchased from the original owner. So this is a 2017. It's got about 70 hours on it. Um, so, uh, first and foremost, I love the bike. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, it does feel so light, uh, that two-stroke lightness. That, um, that I haven't really experienced uh, for a trail bike yet. Um, after just riding it around uh, my property here, uh, as mentioned, I have about three acres that I've been slowly clearing and cutting trails in uh, because of the overgrowth um, that has occurred. But uh, after just riding it that short amount of time, I love this bike. Uh, I do have the power valve turned in, two full turns. Um, down here just uh, to get used to the bike you know I'm not a super experienced rider I am a novice and being able to get on the pipe feel the power um, with it turned in is definitely a little more confidence ex confidence ex in inspiring as I get more experience and you know I don't ultimately end up whiskey throttling it and uh, shooting it into the trees or over the hill <laughs> or whatever so First of all, some mods on this bike. This bike came pretty well loaded. Um, a lot of the things that I would do if I bought a brand new bike, um, this bike already has. So I'll basically work from the top down. So first of all, you can all see the Pro, the Psycho Pro Bin handguards. Um, these are great. Uh, I really like the Pro Bins. I use the Zetas on my KTM, but the Pro Bin always caught my eye. Um, they look like they've been on there since it was purchased new, so they have about 70 hours. And I'll go through and replace the flags, maybe the outer, um, as well as the grips. Just put new grips on it. But uh, really liking the, the Sykra uh, Pro Band handguard. As many as you guys know, for off-riding, you have to have some form of handguard. And the fact that this is the full wraparound, it really protects your hands going through trees and stuff. So the next thing is the uh, Trail Tech Vapor, um, which is a very cool little unit. So RPM, um, Speedo, it's also got temperature gauge, miles, hours, all that jazz. It is their, uh, their basic unit, which I, really, I still really like it. Um, it's also got the, the cover, the CNC machined aluminum cover there 
to uh, to protect it if uh, I happen to flip over. So that's really great. Fantastic addition. So you'll also notice that for 70 hours this thing looks pretty fresh. Well, Gary and the gang and, and, and Charles, they put uh, new plastics on it for me with new decals. So these are brand new uh, plastics all the way around. And uh, the bike really shines. It looks fantastic. This is also the uh, 2018 seat. Um, this is a, I believe it's a 2018 seat. So a fresh seat on it as well, which I really like. It's nice. I may eventually get end up getting a seat concepts, but as of right now, focusing on slow technical riding um, until that seat wears out, I'll just keep it. So also, uh, we have the uh, fan set up, so a cooling fan. And then also, you may not be able to see it in there, but there's the thermostat, the inline thermostat, um, as opposed to like the needle that goes, or the temperature probe that goes into the, uh, the fins. It actually has an inline thermostat. So I like that. Uh, very cool. You know, doing slower riding uh, in these hot summer days, it definitely helps to have uh, a, therm a, a fan of some sort. So this is a great, great addition. So, some small things. Next we have the little, the lower brake guard clasp. So, nice little machine piece there. And the pipe guard. So, the pipe guard that's on it, it is a carbon pipe guard. Uh, I don't know the brand. It's had a little bit of use, right? You can tell it's it's got a little bit of dings on it. But, uh, not bad overall. Also, Enduro Engineering skid plate, which is great. Um, really glad it has a skid plate on it. I will end up um, adding the P Tech skid plate pipe guard uh, combo. I will probably end up keeping the carbon fiber cover on it, even though it's got some use or some wear on it. It's just that much more protection. So as long as it fits, I will keep the the carbon uh, pipe guard and then the P Tech skid plate that essentially wraps around and then you can get them that has the cover for the link for passing over logs and protecting the link. Next I got some uh, Kinda Track Masters, brand new. Uh, Charles said these are really really good tires. They wear very well. They last a long time and uh, they grip really good uh, in the dirt. So I'm looking forward to that. They are also DOT um, approved so if I want to take it out uh, on the road which I do plan to plate this plate this bike um, then I'm DOT legal I can pass inspection which is great last but not least tubeless yes tubeless I am so happy that this bike has tubeless on it so uh, it was a nice surprise that Gary put on whenever he mounted the new tires. He put the tubeless on here. I can't thank him enough because uh, this was going to be one of my first mods. After riding the uh, 2018 Beta 350 RR, or well, the race edition is what it was, the RE, um, I could totally tell a difference with that, with that uh, uh, tubeless system as opposed to the Yamaha. I mentioned it in, my, in that video. And uh, I can't say enough good things that I experienced from the tubeless. Now, obviously, I have not maintained the tubeless. There are some downfalls that some people will highlight. But overall, I think most people are extremely happy with the tubeless system. So I talked a lot earlier about the um, beta seat height. You know, that's one of the first things I noticed on this bike. Is that whenever I throw a leg over it, Boom. With the suspension sag, I have obviously not said, I literally just got the bike. But with the suspension sag, I am able to flat foot this bike. So, as mentioned, I'm about 6 foot, 6 and a half, maybe 6 one on a good day. With these MX, O'Neill MX boots, I may be closer to 6 one. But being able to flat foot this thing, it's a, it's a really great feature. So, yeah. I'm going to take it for a little spin and uh, 
just again tooling around my property i have just three acres here and much much of it's still overgrown um, i've got some paths cut but uh, i will be cutting more and integrating uh, more of like a little track that i can practice on and uh, use some of those logs that are down in that area and work on my slow speed uh, log jumping skills and my balance because uh, i mean at the end of the day being able to uh, ride slow and technical will help my riding overall standing up more and working on my my clutch so all right so i think i have the did i have the gas yep got the gas on so another fantastic thing about a two stroke man this thing fires right up So as I mentioned, I've turned in the uh, the power valve two full turns. So the bike's already warmed up. Well, it's it's cooled down by now. It's right at 96. You know, this is my first time on a two-stroke uh, enduro bike. Uh, I've ridden you know two strokes when I was really young but I've never really owned one so this thing is very very luggable I mean I'm in first right now I mean that's incredible to me having that ability to lug is just so good another thing I noticed as mentioned uh, that I knew I would feel is how light this thing feels between uh, between my knees and uh, man it just it feels so light the suspension feels soft um, it, it hasn't been resprung it is um, factory spring go check out some of the stuff that I've cut. I mean, I'm still kind of plowing through here. I don't even have complete through the, all the way through trails yet. Nothing to speak of. And then it comes out right here by the road. so easy to lug this two-stroke man it's just fantastic uh, still working on my clutch control obviously but I mean the clutch pull it's you know it's average I would say um, it's a maybe a little heavier than my KTM 500 EXC but it's not it's not super heavy again a lot of it is my lack of skill and uh, I just need to ride more to strengthen those fingers up to get down to a uh, to a one finger clutch pull I need to cut me a path through there to get to some of that open stuff Let's see if I can go through here oh this may be a little dicey But that's what we want, right? Dicey. Woo! Yeah. Again, this, you know, I literally just cut most of this out this past weekend. So it's real, it's still really, uh, still really grown up and And the trails aren't really solidified yet, but it will be. But 
brakes are fantastic. This thing still has a shitload of power. Holy cow. Even with two full turns in. With uh, two full turns in. Man, this thing has so much juice. So yeah, again, soft suspension. It feels really soft in uh, in my hand or you know in my feet, like whenever I move with the bike. So it seems to it definitely absorbs those low speed bumps like nothing. I mean, I'm in third right now. This is just so impressive. The lugability of how of how it handles is just great. So there we go. That is my new 2017, new to me, 2017 Beta 300RR. So lots more videos coming with this bad boy. I will be riding uh, in some ATV parks, some national forests, some state forests, and uh, of course in West Virginia um, where I took the KTM. I'll be taking the beta as well. Overall impressions, I'm extremely happy with it. I can't wait to um, really get out there and ride more, get it in some more higher speed stuff, some open trails, and some more tight stuff, you know, some different terrain. And as I develop my skills, um, I think I'm going to really uh, grow with the bike and be able to do more with it. Uh, I did highly consider uh, a Beta X trainer. Um, it was, uh, a new one was, you know, about uh, $1,500 more than this uh, used 300RR. But I uh, was a little concerned about the suspension as I get faster and a little more capable rider. Um, I was concerned, you know, I'm... 190 pounds um, plus gear, so I probably sit around 200 with water and gear and all that jazz easily. So I would have had to respring it and all that. At 190, um, probably right at the limit with the stock springs on these uh, Sax OEM Sax forks, but it feel, still feels really good. So I don't think I'm going to run into any problems um, for a long time. So, uh, yeah, that is it. Uh, you know, again, I'm, I'm super happy with it. I really, uh, I definitely want to give a shout out to, uh, Gary and Charles, uh, Barnstormers Off-Road, um, up in New York for hooking me up. You know, I waited a little while for this bike, um, for it to, we had to, they had to bring it down and, 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 uh, deliver it. But, you know, the interaction overall was fantastic. And I really look forward to riding some more with those guys. Just a great bunch of guys, you know. It's a, it's a dealership owned by riders that have a passion for riding. And uh, they're just all around good people. And this is pretty much where my audio cut out for some reason. Um, I was just really wrapping it up to say that uh, Gary and Charles are or all around good people you know <clears throat> they really took care of me in this deal uh, helped me with either you know between buying the X trainer or buying this 300 RR help guide me in my decision making and it was much appreciated so uh, looking forward to getting out there doing some more riding and uh, hope everybody has a great week and stay on two wheels this is Accelerate once again 
signing off.